I might have made a tiny mistake. Tiny? What did you do? Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Infra. This is the end of Chapter 7, Map 5. In the end of Act 2, the next section was released a year later, in September of 2017. So let's see what Chapter 8 holds in store for us. Eric! I mean, uh, Mark! almost died in here. What the hell did you do? Uh, shit, I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, I messed up. You have to get out of there. I'm trying. Oh, really? Okay. So, the explosion knocked the boot out of the door. We've never had a card that works in these things. Or, no, never had that card. Um, I don't think we're on a timer here. But there's this busted out window here. Um, and then if we look outside, we see that there's this great big hole in the flaming generator. And I mean that quite literally the generator is on fire as long as everything else is. So we need to get out of here. Now there's obviously some combustible liquids floating in this water. I don't know why it hasn't spread further. I'm seriously glad that it hasn't, though. And I need to keep a better eye on my checklist to make sure I'm not missing things along the way. But let's see what happens here. Jump over that. And we're going to go up here. And this is the crank to open an exit gate. There we go. I don't think I can fit these in my pockets. So what that did for us is it actually opened this grate here a few inches. And now if you notice there's a current and the flood water with its floating combustibles are coming towards that and away from everything else. And there's a teddy bear in a top hat with some I have like a ton of camera these already. Okay. Can't go that way because of the steam leak with the ruptured pipe there. I don't think we need to take a picture of that because, well, it's the least of our concerns. But now the fire is floating away. Stay well away from that steam leak. And then we can step into this room here. Mark, I'm stuck in this damn room. The door's stuck. I, I think the smoke's getting thicker. <laughs> Where are you? I can help you. I'm, I'm, I'm upstairs. Just, just leave me, okay? It's not the first time I've screwed up. I, I can handle this myself. You don't have to <coughs> risk your life for me. Are you sure? Yes, damn it. <laughs> I can get this fixed. Okay, so here we have a choice. This is the same Robin who's been screwing up everything else he's touched. He's, he's the one that took all the handles off the things in the Bergman Tunnels. He's generally made our life, he, he screwed up all the water plants, he's generally made a mess of things. So we have a choice here, if we go down that spiral staircase right away, we can abandon Robin and leave him to stew in his own juices, and you get an achievement for that, it's called Natural Selection. If you go this way, you can have a chance to save him. There's smoke in the air here. I'm Duck. here. I'm going to help you. Rock. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Just press that vent button. It should be there on the wall. All right, so let's go into the control room here. <coughs> I don't know if I'm hitting key rollover or what with this thing. 
but I can't Fuck. duck and... It doesn't work. <laughs> Damn it. You need to use the control panel and change some settings. Viewports update. What the hell is this? <laughs> really? Again? <laughs> Damn it. Just unplug it. I got the control panel working. What do I do now? Good. <laughs> Just turn on all those <laughs> things and the auto ventilation must must be off, all right? <laughs> then press that smoke vent button. <laughs> oh man, I am not <laughs> Alright. Robin, are you there? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm, I'm just trying to fix this damn door handle. Oh, good. I almost felt that. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, look, Mark, uh, thank you for what you did. You, you, you saved my life. I just did what I had to do. I should get going. I have to get back to the office and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can go. You can go out. Look, I'm gonna repay this somehow, Mark. I promise. Okay. So if you save Robin, you get an achievement called First Responder. If you abandon Robin, it's called Natural Selection. Okay, reboot and fix vent. Alright, so now we need to go back down that direction, down the spiral staircase. Again, you do this after you save Robin. As well as if you don't want to. Can't carry so, any more of these. Whether you do or not will affect how you proceed in Chapter 9, going from Map 1 into Map 2. Um, saving Robin greases some wheels for you. Letting Robin die from his own mistakes will force you to grease other wheels. So there's supposed to be a, yep, busted cement right there. Okay. We come here. Oops, should, should not have turned that off yet. There's a door there. I think this is where we came into this level. If we go up to the um, second layer of the balcony there, you go there. Watch the exit door straight ahead. It is open right now, you see? But as we get to it, it somehow closes on its own, which has got to have Mark ready to punch through the wall. There are some broken windows there, and there is a geocache somewhere that nearby here. That takes 10 here. packs of camera batteries. I may have to look that one up to see where this geocache really is. Assuming it's in the garage. Oh, it's behind the box. A geocache. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, let's see. Come in here. There's some weird paintings. Um, floor has seen better days. I'm still not sure what that painting is of. Well, let's just do a quick save here and then take the elevator. Cross the elevator to the Shit. Not again. This one has an emergency brake lever, which you use to brake the elevator in case of an emergency. Like that one was right there. So we're going to take a picture of this broken piece of rubbish. Because, not again. Alright. Now, if you, do, if you don't do creepy, you might want to skip ahead till we're out of this mine here because there's a bit of creepy going on here. I'll probably end up taking my headphones off. Here, cave in there. 
We're going to go down this tunnel here. And we see there's a light flashing. And it's a flashlight sitting on a rock and blinking. There's a hard hat and a set of batteries next to it. And there's a note. Uh, documents. Hole on right next to cave in, cave in behind document. Doc mark. And if you listen to the soundtrack here, there's some noise going on. I'm stuck in here, I'm trying to get out, but I don't know how long I'm going to survive. I shouldn't have listened to you. I found what we're looking for, but what now? I'm stuck in here, and this that statue is too big to carry. I can feel someone watching me. I can hear it breathing behind me when I'm not looking. I don't believe in ghosts, but this is too much. It has to be these shrooms are making me crazy. It's becoming hard to focus. Where am I? Okay, let's... Um not be there. Document next to their cave in somewhere. I'm supposed to get more pictures, but uh, let's keep going. Actually, I want to go back down there and just make sure that I have all the pictures I need. There we go. Fascinating. There's the picture I need. Okay. I have like a ton of these things already. All right, let me get out of here and put my headphones back on once I get back to the relative safety of the not creepy passageway there. This should be far enough away. On the barrel mark. Okay. So now we're going to explore this area here a little bit more and go the less creepy direction. And we find there's some dynamite sitting on the minecart. Which, knowing our experience with dynamite, is probably not a good thing. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Yeah, there's pretty much no chance that door's going to work. That's kind of caved in. Broken mini train. I don't think we care. At least it's derailed. Go this way. It's... That's caved in. Actually, that's not that cave in, it's this cave in here. There's a document sitting on this chest. This mine is full of this dynamite, it's not safe here. I can't wait for you. Do you remember when that one house almost collapsed because of those mines? The tunnels could collapse at any time, and there are those weird shrooms everywhere. I have never seen them before. I hope they aren't dangerous. I didn't find any statues here. I hope you had better luck. This whole job seems like a waste of time. I'm going home. Call me as soon as you can. Intriguing. Okay, so they're trying to get a hold of some statues. I wonder if this is really any relationship to that blue glowing goo thing we saw in the other tunnel system, but I don't know. That's all wet. There's a fuse that we're going to want here. Right. Now this little shack here, we need to find two fuses. Can't carry any more of these. I still have nine packs of batteries left. Okay. I'll explain later once we get this thing going. We need one more fuse. I don't know if we've been down this direction yet, or if we have not. Yes, we have. Try to remember where the other fuse lives. I think it's on the ground down one of these hallways.
next to what looks like an industrial fire extinguisher. Alright. What this does... It's on a very slow time delay, for reasons we'll see here in a few moments. But it operates this crane thing. I'm going to turn it back off. Set the whatchamajigger to up. Hit the power. Go up here. And go here. By the time it comes back online, we are on the cart. Going up to this level here. Where there's a wee bit of a cave in on this side. We go over here, there's a missing ladder. I think it's here that wants the picture. Maybe that's later in a few minutes. Okay, there's some kind of a stop here, so we can't drive the mini train this direction. That would be funny. We're going to let it drive through that board there. And pick this thing up. I love source physics when it does stuff like this. There we go. That's where we want to put that board. Come back in here, just make sure there's nothing else we need to do. Because I'd like to get out of these mines as soon as feasible. Time to turn around and find another way. Yeah, missing ladder. Okay, that dismount was less messy than it could have been, knowing Mark's luck with gravity. Alright, so go this direction here. That is I'm also... pretty sure that's not meant to be like that. Yep. Okay. Alright, so we started this episode this level with slot four. Um, where did I use slot one last? Slot one. I used in the middle of the cistern. I'm going to save here just in case this is the way out. Which it seems to be. Yep. So next time, we'll see what horrors lurk in map 2 of chapter 8. Thanks for watching.